I share anybody's worry about losses of markets, and my advice to Mr. McGregor is, if he's really concerned about the market position, stop behaving like a United States bully, and agree to come back to the negotiating table and sit down and talk to the NUM. After all, it's he who broke off negotiations and not me. And with other industries settling for uh, pay awards at least 50% higher than ours, and with a pit closure program staring the miners in their face, there is obviously a need to talk. First of all, to get a higher increase in pay, and secondly, to stop the butchery of this industry, to stop pit closures and the rundown in manpower levels. I mean, your industry, one section, has settled five by two percent. You mean Mr. McGregor's colleagues in the BACM have settled for 5.2%. I'll tell you what I'll do, Mr. Morgan, because you're a brilliant mathematician. If the National Coal Board and Mr. McGregor are prepared to offer me the same cash amount that they've given to their managers, I'll settle today. They've been awarded about 29 or £30 pounds a week increase. If my members, who've been offered £4.50 pounds a week increase, are offered the same amount, I'll settle to that today. Do you think your accept their acceptance, though, has um, undermined your position in any way? BACM, to my knowledge, have never supported the National Union of Mine Workers since they were established. And it would have been a major surprise had they come out and said they supported the demands of the National Union of Mine Workers at the present time. It doesn't surprise me one bit. But what does surprise me is the inability or the unwillingness of the national media to refer to the fact that the second largest union in the coal industry, NACONS, the under officials union, have by a majority of five to one rejected as wholly inadequate the offer on pay by the National Coal Board. Does it suggest that there's some bias on your part? Dare I say such a thing?